Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are doing a second style of trinomials. Now in our previous video we had done this trinomials where you use the different methods. right? If you are not familiar with this go through this video before attempting what we are going to do now. The second thing you need to know before doing this type of trinomials is grouping. Again if you are not familiar with this video go over it before attempting this style of trinomials. Now let us take the example that we had done previously x squared plus 5x plus 6. What you are going to do is you are going to multiply the first and the last term. So we multiply the first and the last term. What we are going to get is 6x squared. The second thing we are going to do is we are going to find factors of the 6x squared. So if we take 6x squared we can say 3x times 2x or we can say 6x times 1x. But what we are looking for is 5x. If you look we got 3x times 2x and we have got 6x times 1x. Now 3 plus 2 will give us 5 but 6 plus 1 will not give us 5. Then we are going to group. Now in order to use this you have to know your grouping. So make sure you understand the video of grouping before attempting this style of trinomials. So what we are going to have is x squared plus 3x plus 2x plus 6. What we have done is we have split the 5x into 3x plus 2x. And how did we get 3x plus 2x? We know when we multiply it then we will get 6x squared. Now let us do grouping. So I am going to group x squared plus 3x and then from your grouping rules you know you have a plus. Then we are going to have 2x plus 6. Now after you have grouped Following your grouping rules, you are going to take out a common in the first bracket which is x and we are going to be left with x plus 3 and then we have plus and a common between 2x plus 6 is 2 and we are left with x plus 3. Knowing your grouping, the first rule is to take out a common one time and then to take out a common bracket. So now we are going to take out a common bracket which is x plus 3 and what are we left with? x plus 2. Now this method may seem long and difficult when you are doing easy sums. If you look at the previous question when we have done this in a different form of trinomials we ended up with the same answer. How come this method is good? Is because when you are doing really challenging sums then this method is easier because you can try and break down easier. Let us try a high level question. Right, let us take the following question 20x squared plus 24x minus 9. If you look at the rules, what does it say? It says take the first term and multiply it by the last term. So, what we are going to say is minus 9, remember with its signs, minus 9 times 20x squared, which will give me minus 180x squared. Now, you need to find factors of minus 180x squared that is eventually going to add up to 24. When you are doing this try easy sums start from 1 because usually it is not many terms. So if you said 1 times minus 180 you can clearly see that is not going to give you 24. 2 times 90 make it negative 90 and you can see but that is not going to give me 24. 3 times 60 let us say 3 times negative 60, that is not going to give me 24. 4 times 45, also not going to give me 24. Remember I am putting the negatives because I have a negative year, so I need to have a negative answer. Okay, so now we have 5 times minus 36. Now 36 and 5 cannot give me 24, that would give me about 31, but it cannot give me 24. 6 
times 30. Now, look at that. 6 and 30 can give me 24. But if I say minus 30 plus 6, that's going to give me minus 24, which means that my signs are incorrect. Now, remember, the checking of signs is done in our previous video of trinomials. So, I know 6 and 30 are the numbers I want to work with. But I also know that my signs are incorrect. So, I swap them. I'm going to say minus 6 times 30. Now, let's break it down. I'm going to have 20x squared minus 6x plus 30x minus 9. Can you see how we've got minus 6x plus 30x gives me my 24. And when I multiply it, it gives me my minus 180. Now we're going to do grouping. So I'm going to group the first two. Plus, remember that whenever you're grouping, the sign in the middle must be plus. Then we're going to take out a common. So our common here is 2x and I'm left with 10x minus 3 plus my common here is 3 and then I'm left with 10x minus 3. Then we take out a common bracket. So we're going to have 10x minus 3 as my common and I'm left with 2x plus 3. Now, let's say by some chance you decided that you're going to put 30x first and minus 6 second. Let's try that example. Okay, so you've done the factors and you know what you need. But when you write, you write it different. You write 20x squared plus 30x minus 6x minus 9. Now, you can still see that 30x minus 6x still gives me my 24x and when I multiply it I still get my minus 180. All you did was you swapped it. Whereas in first I wrote minus 6x plus 30x, now you swapped it and you wrote 30x minus 6x. We're still going to do grouping. The rules are exactly the same and you'll still end up with the same answer. Now this is where you have to be careful. Remember when you're grouping, the sign between the brackets is a plus. So what is inside my brackets is the sign that is with the term. So here I've got minus 6x, minus 9. Be careful with your signs. Now we're going to take out a common. In this bracket, our common is 10x. What am I left with? 2x plus 3. Then here I'm going to take out a negative 3 as a common. Now knowing your work from your grouping, if you take out a negative sign, the signs on the inside bracket change. So if I took out a negative 3, what am I left with? A positive 2x and a positive 3. Can you see how the signs changed here? And why it changed? Because I took out a negative. Then we take out a common bracket again, which is 2x plus 3. And we are left with 10x minus 3. If you look, it's the same answer as this method. So it doesn't matter which one you put first, you will always get the same answer. Thank you for watching.